Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Fryman, the Chief of Hepatobiliary and Pancreatic Surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center. Today's medical tutorial is on the Whipple Procedure, a guide for preoperative patients. Please keep in mind that this guide pertains mostly to patients having Whipple surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center in Towson, Maryland. The Whipple procedure generally lasts two and a half, two and a half to three hours for cases not involving vein resection. Cases involving portal vein or SMV resection are on the four to five hour range. When, when uh, you come in that morning, we, uh, we expect that you arrive two hours before surgery. Uh, a nurse and an anesthesiologist will talk to you. You will be given um, the option of a thoracic epidural. For post-operative pain control. The majority of our patients do opt for that, but the ultimate decision is on the patient. You will be taken into the operating room by a nurse and the anesthesiologist. If you choose an epidural catheter, the epidural catheter will be placed prior to putting you to sleep. After you go to sleep, the majority of the patients do get a central line which is typically inserted in the in the right internal jugular vein by the anesthesiologist. An arterial line is also placed in the radial artery to help monitor your blood pressure during surgery. After these lines are placed, you will be t put to sleep. Uh, some anesthesiologists will put you to sleep first and then place the central line and arterial line after. Um, that is a personal preference from on the this is, uh, that is a personal preference of the anesthesiologist. You will wake up from surgery in the recovery room. You will have a tube in your nose which is called an NG tube. This keeps your stomach decompressed of air and fluid. The NG tube usually stays for 24 to 48 hours. The majority of the time the, the tube is removed at 24 hours. You will have two tubes exiting your right side. One is called a T tube which drains the afferent biliary limb and a Blake or Jackson Pratt drain which is placed around the biliary and pancreatic anastomosis. We ask that you are extremely careful uh, in not removing or tugging on the drains. The typical stay is two hours in the post-anesthesia recovery room or PACU, around two hours, and then one to two days in the intensive care unit. From there you will be taken to to central where the majority of our, our hepato, where the majority of our hepatobiliary and pancreatic patients um, are taken care of by a dedicated team of nurses and PAs. Clear liquids are typically started on the third to fifth day depending on the status of your bowel function. 
the Jackson Pratt drain or Blake drain is usually removed on day seven if there is no signs of pancreatic of a pancreatic fistula or pancreatic disruption. The T tube is typically left in for about four weeks and you will be taught by the nursing staff how to take care of the tube upon, di upon discharge from the hospital. The typical hospital stay is somewhere from seven to ten days uh, depending on your GI status. As I have discussed in previous videos, a certain percentage have an element, a per, certain percentage of patients have an element of delayed gastric emptying. When you are able to tolerate full liquids without vomiting uh, and there is no signs of an infection or pancreatic fistula, most patients are discharged. In the post-operative period, we do encourage the aggressive use of incentive spirometry to help prevent pneumonias or atelectasis, which is segmental collapse of portions of your lung. We also encourage early ambulation to help prevent blood clots in your legs. You will also get subcutaneous shots, um, which are called heparin or heparin-like substances to help prevent blood clots. What's most important is that you will be on a dedicated unit which we call Two Central at St. Joseph Medical Center where the majority of our liver and pancreas patients are. Uh, the nurses the P and the PAs and the physicians are experts in the management of patients who have undergone the Whipple procedure. I thank you for taking the time to listening, uh, taking the time for listening to the preoperative guide.